Hi, I'm sure you wanted this a GNS3 with all images already installed and no need any installation or buy images from Cisco, Fortigate, Juniper or other vendors and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars to download images even if you have images deploying a GNS3 is time consuming so here we just make this product which is GNS3 full pack images so next up let's see how to deploy it which is very easy and you can start practice your labs after 30 minutes once you have downloaded this product. In this short video I'm going to help you how you can download GNS3 full pack and how you can install it into your VMware workstation or VMware player. So once you buy this product, simply you should click on download GNS3 full pack file here. So once you have downloaded this product, you will see that it is like this. So this is my laptop and I'm going to move to the PC or personal computer to run GNS3, which it has enough uh, hardware resources to install GNS3 in that computer. The file is GNS3 full pack images and to install this product you should simply right click and say extract here. So once you extract it you will see these two files. Again the VM is going to be 43 GB and this is the GNS3 2.2.5 installer you should install it like me here. I should mention that you should install only this version because this GNS3 VM is only compatible with this GNS3 installer file. You cannot install the newest version of GNS3 with this GNS3 VM. If you have installed the new version, you should remove it and then install this version, which again, this is the new version. And when you install this GNS3, you will see it like this and then you should import GNS3 VM simply. You should right click or double click on the VM and as you can see, it will give you the VM name and the path. Make sure that you have enough space to deploy or install GNS3 virtual machine in your computer. And simply you should click on import. And you can see the virtual machine is going to import it like this. And once you deploy it, you should right click and select the memory. If you want to run uh, heavy laps, you should increase the memory or CPU. And of course, these are the network adapters, which is not recommended to change the settings. And just make sure that you have checked virtualize intel or amd cpu that's okay and now is the time to connect our gns3 to the virtual machine to bring up these uh, images so simply here we'll go to edit and preferences and here on server just you have to type the ip address and the default port is going to be 3080 and you should uncheck off and the username password if you see any username password here so that's great to find your gns3 ip address just go to the gns3 vm and here you can see the ip address so that's great and this is the default port and okay and now you can see all the images for here is the rotors, switches, and the end device, and of course all the devices here, you can see them in the all device here. So now is the time to bring some of them here, as you can see, this is the rotor, and this is the checkpoint, this is the Cisco ASA, and of course Cisco XR V and Cisco CSR here and now as you can see you can simply uh, actually power on these virtual machines for example for Cisco ASA and checkpoint and simply when you double click on the virtual machines they're going to power on in your labs and again here you can see cisco ios xrv here 
you should type the username and password which you can find the username and password in the page product and of course here the Cisco iOS V router so that's great and just make sure that you have connected to the GNSC VMware virtual machine and it should be green like this